seem to be seeing a really big uptick in racial violence around the country right now. And we're seeing reports and, and news. Um, and you got to search a lot of this stuff because they just show on the nightly news. I feel like they don't really show all what's going on. You just see. Because uh, it doesn't follow their narrative. Right. And, and you don't even know what's going on in some of the different cities. Like when we were doing research for the project, we were coming up on one from even, uh, we saw a video in York, Pennsylvania, where it showed a, a woman being dragged out of her car and people jumping on the roof of the car and smashing out all yep, the windows. I saw that. And it, it was like two weeks ago. And it, we for just- no reason. Thought, yeah. No reason whatsoever. Completely unprovoked. So what, what we're seeing is the breakdown of law and order in the country, and we're seeing racism. I, I feel like right now the racism in the country is at such a heightened level. It's, pro, it's, it's worse. The racism right now, I feel like, is worse than at any time in my lifetime. Even, at the, even you know, when we were involved in the movement. I mean, this is the kind of stuff, like you had said earlier, um, that was predicted, you know, by the movement. And this is exactly what they want, you know, this and is wanted. exactly what they want. <laughs> and wanted. I'm sorry, what? I was just going to say it's, and it's also what they wanted, right? As you said the same thing. Right, right. We're saying the same things. And, and that's, that's exactly it. it. It was the far right wishes, hope for, planned for, uh, civil war, a race war, a societal breakdown, and the uh, acceleration of the end of the government. And from the far and left perspective, far left wants the same thing as yeah. far as I'm Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And um, the difference, there's, there's similarities and there's differences. And oh, you know, this is hot, hot button stuff right here. And especially I know when I criticize the far right, um, and I'm sure you've gotten it as well, you know, they'll, they'll call us traitors. They'll say, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> threaten us, you know, we've both been there, we, you know, and, and then on the far, when you criticize the far left, and I, I probably get just as many, if not more threats from the far left, because I'll call out this stuff too. I'll say, hey, this is communism. This is anarchy. This is Antifa. And people get mad. Oh, Antifa is, no, our veterans in World War II were Antifa and all these weird things. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Antifa was, was founded by the communists. I mean, you know, you can look it up. Anybody can look it up. It's very simple. You know, that's the other thing. People, it, it all comes down to, I don't care what a group even calls themselves. What are their actions? What are they preaching? Exactly. Exactly. And, and I'm not picking on nobody. We're not, we're not saying, oh, we're just coming here. We're going to do this show and blast Antifa or blast the far right, you know, and both sides are extremists. And I'm not saying everybody on the left is bad. I have many friends that are on the left that yep. are good, wonderful, decent human beings, mm -hmm. amazing people. And I know people on the right as well, conservatives and things like that, that are good, wonderful, amazing people as well. Um, and even when you go into the extremism parts, not everybody that's involved in extremism is a piece of garbage. You know, there's people that get hooked in there that believe that they're doing the right things. I know we did when we were there. Um, we thought we were doing something good and noble. And um, there's those people in there. And there is really bad people in there as well. There's really violent, terrible people as well. So no one's getting a free pass here. Um, not on this program. If you do wrong, whether you're a cop, whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're right, whether you're left, if you're doing yep. a crappy thing and you're hurting other people, we're going to call you out. Simple as that. Absolutely. Say it again louder, Jeff. <laughs> right. <laughs> this stuff gets me worked up. I mean, it really does because it's like. Let it out. We're, Let we're it trying out. to, we're trying to help. We're trying to save our country here. And these people are like, oh no, you're just being mean to the left or you're just being mean to the right. You know, you're this, you're that. No, people need to start listening because what we're doing is we're forewarning. We're trying to stop this violence. We're trying to save lives. We're trying to stop our cities and our country from being burned down and destroyed. And this is one of the 
big reasons that I left the movement in the first place was because I saw this stuff coming. I felt it coming. I knew it was coming. We predicted it all those years. And here it is. And people don't want to listen still. And instead of listening and taking this stuff in and understanding and, and using their brains, they're going, oh, no, you're still being radical. How is what we're saying radical? This is rational. This is from people that were there. We know this. We use these tactics to radicalize. Yep. Now we're seeing it in real time. And people need to start listening or we're going to lose our country. It's simple as that.